Everyone, I just want to take a second to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Rollandtoad.com. They're one of the largest retailers for every trading card game, including Pokemon, and are a great choice for all your gaming needs. And if you order today and use the coupon code BRIDGE4GAMES, you'll get a discount on your order and help the channel. Okay, back to the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike with Bridge4Games. Uh, I got a ladder up video for you guys today. I'm going to be using the Kyogre team that I've been using uh, in our Series A preview with Blaine. And I know Blaine has made a Kyogre counter team uh, in a previous video, but I still think that this team is very good and it has a lot of power and I just think that I, I want to test it a little bit more and see what I can get out of it. Uh, I have been testing with the team and I did change some stuff. Uh, I changed Icy Wind on Tornadus to Hurricane and I changed Rain Dance on Tornadus to Protect and then I took Eerie Impulse off of Reggie Alecki and put it uh, Protect on instead. So it's been testing pretty well. So I'm just gonna uh, get into a couple battles here and see how we do as our slow climb up to Master Ball tier continues. We did make it out of Pokeball, which is nice. So hopefully we can just uh, keep this moving upwards and get to Master Ball as quickly as possible. Searching, searching, searching. Searching, searching, searching. Anybody on this morning? Hope somebody's on this morning. Hey, we got somebody. Okay. Same tier as us. Latias. Altaria. Necrozma. Dusk. This is a very interesting team. Um actually kind of like Landorus kind of like Landorus Metagross to start this off and then what maybe do this and then do this and then, I kind of like Kyogre, but then I don't like Kyogre at the same time. I think we're going to just go with it. And hope that I can just deal with the Lapras without Regieleki. So, nobody's on the ground, which is fine. Um, so, I can just... I think I'm going to Hailstorm the Latias and Hailwind. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then next turn, I could possibly proc a policy on the Metagross and really just start punching holes through stuff. I'm not quite sure what Altaria does. Like, I, I know Altaria is a Pokemon and I like Altaria, but I just don't exactly know what it does. Ooh, just missed the KO. Okay. Ah, 
Hockenberry, yep. Yep, yep. E bolt. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. And it matches a talent. Okay. Ooh, that's goggles. Okay. So I think I think I can just Do I get rid of the Latias or do I get rid of the Altaria? I think I'm gonna get rid of the Latias and I'm gonna Brutal Swing to proc policy. That's fine. I didn't even think that Brutal Swing would probably get rid of the <laughs> Latias on its own. So maybe I should have. Maybe I should have gone on an Altaria. That's probably a misplay by me. But we get rid of the Latias either way. We got policy. I don't even know how fast Altaria is. Perish song. Okay. Um, I mean, we can at least finish our max with Metagross. And then... From there, we can swap. Because they didn't have any like arena trap or shadow tag things going on, I don't think. But I think we're going to. Well, we're gonna max Quake into this. And then I think I switch out into. Lando and see what happens here oh, back they may max guard I figured they were going to max the Necrozma and a Pokeball. Where do things have happened? I mean, I don't really want to get rid of all my pluses on Metagross, but it's probably not the biggest deal. Policy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Heal Spike. Yeah, goodbye, Lando. Okay, but we can just bring in Kyogre now. And yeah, we'll bring in Kyogre and we can just stomping tantrum water spout. And then next turn we can switch out the Metagross. Counting down, we're at two. Got one turn of Tailwind left. So we can just Stomping Tantrum and Water Spout. Yeah, why not? We're going to do a lot of damage. 
any which way you put it. Yeah, we're gonna do a ton of damage. Goodbye. And it perish songs again. That's fine, because then we can just switch out the Metagross and um, Ice Beam. And then we can switch out the Kyogre the turn after. Ditto. Well, that's going to be a problem. Okay. So we're going to go to Torn. And we are going to Ice Beam. Hmm. Huh. So that's probably Scarf. So I'm going to switch to Torn and Ice Beam just like I probably should. Um, actually, he can't even switch that out. So as long as I get past this, yeah, that's not a good play. I should have water spouted again because that's going down after this turn anyways. Perfect. But at least it doesn't get a tailwind up. We know that scarf too because it went first. Um, so, um, let's, we are at two, but we can still water spout. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this. Yeah. Eh, maybe I should have. Yeah, I guess I. I mean, protecting probably would have been better. I guess. Yeah, that does nothing. But I think I need a tailwind. <laughs> um. Although it can't really. This is turn three. Transform only gives five PP of each, so it's two gone. So. I think I can hurricane and protect this turn. And then um and then the turn after I can tailwind and stomping tantrum. Yeah, and then the turn after. And it's just gonna use Stopping Tantrum again. And then we can just Hurricane. Oh, that doesn't even kill. So yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah, we're, we're all good. Okay, I mean, it got a little dicey with the ditto, but, and we hit our hurricane anyway, so that's cool. But, alright, we take the first game here, which is fantastic. Metagross is so scary. Right. Calcium, excellent. I like that they give you stuff for just playing rank battles. Oh, keep moving up. Searching, searching, searching.
yeah as the month goes on it's probably harder to find people in the the lower tiers because so many people just zoom on up to master ball tier and also people don't start as low as i had to so there is always that um kind of thing i don't think I'm trying to think of what i could have done better that game i mean there was a couple of misplays that i pointed out but overall i think i did okay I wonder why he chose stopping tantrum instead of something else, because he couldn't even hit the Tornadus. Oh, Alright, Sogaleo, Spectrier, Stuff, Grimstarl. Alright, um, you have Trick Room options. Um, I kind of... I kind of just like... Tornadus Kyogre to start here. I like Urshifu here. And I kind of like Landorus here. Um, Urshifu kind of... I mean, it loses to Feeny, but actually with this setup, I don't, you can't really deal with Feeny all that well. Maybe I bring the Metagross instead. But Metagross isn't very good against Spectrier and Moltres. Um, I mean, if I can just get faster, it shouldn't be a big deal. So let's, let's just go with it. They're probably going to leave Grimmsnarl in something to set up screens. Ogaleo Spectrier. Okay. I feel like you want to max both of those Pokemon. But I can just Tailwind and Water Spout. And it's weird because I, I really feel like most of the time I'm not um I'm not even maxing Kyogre. Which, I, it could be powerful, but I just think the spread of Water Spout is just so good. What you gonna do? Okay. That's Sogaleo. It's probably a su uh, support Spectrier. It's probably got like Snarl and... Does it get Snarl? I think it gets Snarl. I know it gets Will-O-Wisp. I know... I mean... It's... It gets some stuff. Okay, Inspector Sash. Okay. Okay, so it's Policy. It's probably just going to nuke my Kyogre. Okay, okay so raising special defense. Yeah. Mm, I kind of wish... I kind of wish I had uh, Landorus right now with an Earthquake. I think I'm gonna go Metagross. I can get a policy off and I could, um, I'll get the policy off and KO the Spectrier at the same time. And then I Dynamax and Max Quake into the Sogaleo. I think that's a pretty good play at this point. I mean, unless they, I mean, they're not going to switch out Sogaleo at this point. 
I mean, if they max guard this Ogaleo, that's fine, but like, then they only have one turn of max left and we're still gonna be faster. Here goes get our policy and swing hard into Sogaleo. Goodbye, Sogaleo. No, did it live? Okay, good. I was gonna say, I was like, I thought it went all the way down. I was like, oh boy, that could have gotten dicey. That scared me. It scared me more than it should have. Feeny, yeah, we gotta get rid of the Feeny. Uh, and then Moltres. Uh, I mean, neither of these are very good for my uh, Urshifu in the back. Um, I think I'm going to Hurricane and honestly, it's, it's better that I Quake to get the boost. They may protect the Moltres to try to proc a policy on it. No, no, they used their policy already, so it's probably a Life Orb Moltres, but they still might protect it this turn. Uh, I'm more interested in getting rid of the Feeny. Yeah. Oh, Feeny protects too. I mean, that's fine. They just want to see what I'm going to do. I still get more boosts, which is great. Turns its last turn of tailwind. So I think I'll hurricane. Maybe I get rid of the Moltres now. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the Moltres now. I wonder if I can do it with a steel spike. I'll just do this. That's a good amount. I can reset Tailwind now to most likely, and then um, make sure my Metagross is faster than the Feeny. Ice Beam, cool. Yeah, with the with the two def uh, special defense boosts. That's Life Orb Feeny. I mean, I mean, I don't mind it. Um, I'll just Tailwind again and Iron Head and maybe Flinch. Okay, so we take that one. So that's a good couple battles for us. Uh, it's still pretty strong. It, honestly, Kyogre is still good. It, it's going to be good for the foreseeable future. So. Oh, let's check. See where we ended up. Oh, not quite to the, the rank eight, but okay. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please like subscribe, uh, comment down below. 
I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Yeah.